Hey guys, Jared Chung's 21 here. So, uh, I don't know about you guys, but do you ever play on console, play Grand Theft Auto on console and say, watch some YouTubers that are playing on PC and playing with their mods and everything, and you're just like, damn, I wish I could jump off stuff and build like a massive traffic ramp and shit without having to go online. Well, I've got three traps. I got three little surprises for you using my favorite feature of GTA, which would be director mode. The closest thing we get to mods in this game. So I'm going to drive over here, and you guys can kind of see that. This is out at the airport. Trevor's little airfield here in Sandy Shores. And I am going to show you this track. What I passionately like to call the Brickyard 300. NASCAR, please do not sue me. So, as you can see, we come in here, and I gotta figure out how I have, like built my entrance way into this. So, no, it's not there. I built these over the morning this morning, and uh. I'm gonna like try to figure out where I put my entrance. I think it's on the back side over here. But this is about 50 props. Uh, we're gonna show you this one, and we're gonna show you my first one I did, and then we are gonna show you a mega ramp. And this is being shot at uh, 8:04 p.m. on Friday, Black Friday. A bunch of people got some Christmas shopping done. A bunch of people are happy. As you can see, we've got two different things I'm going to show off. Uh, for this video, I'm going to show you my brand new Progen T20. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a better view of this. Let's switch it to my favorite setting, which is midday. It is my favorite drinks color. It is Mountain Dew Yellow, and it is beat the crap up. But... I think I figured out how to mitigate some of the uh, glare. I'm going to have this set to midnight. But let's just show you kind of what I've done here. I've built like a massive tube here. And this is just a massive, a great big massive thing. I have to be careful up ahead because I put two ramps back to back. And if I go off this one really fast... It just, I get catapulted off the track. So, we're doing this one in my Progen T20. Fully customized. I want to show, and yes, I did, I didn't realize I could do Mountain Dew Yellow until I watched Ollie 43s video about it, where he customized his, and being, I, I'm addicted to Mountain Dew. I drink a case of this, a case of the stuff every two weeks, so... I'm, I'm really not healthy when it comes to Mountain Dew. Uh, so I made my cars. I made two cars that are uh, Mountain Dew colored. No, I fell off. Crap. As you can see, it is just a massive track. Oh, oh, oh. Can I land this? No. No, I couldn't. I didn't think I could. <sighs> that would have been nice if I could. I have no checkpoints on this because this isn't a race. This was uh, this is built in director mode, which means I really can't like do anything with it. Uh, I do plan to get Xbox Live. I also plan to get a better camera, which will be a GoPro, and that'll probably be. I'll start making some GTA Online videos until I get my new laptop in February. Around February, probably. It's hard to say. I was told February, but, you know, it's just as likely it could be tomorrow or it could be in December. Yeah, it's hard to say. It was one of the things I listed on my Christmas list. Because I am a college student. I am 21. I live at home with my parents. So, I still get Christmas. About the one time of the year where everyone in my family gets along. Most of my family, we don't get along that well. So as many of you know, the T20 is locked up at about 120 miles an hour. You're going to see us break that later on. But right now, 
I don't watch it. This, this is like a single lane straight away, and it is... I fall off of this. I've done this... I've done a reverse circuit of this three or four times. I've never done it straight forward. It gets higher and higher and higher. Like this gets really tall. All of these ra all, all of these go really high up in the air. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. <sighs> Recovered. Yeah, uh, I have no idea the maximum height, but I know this one when I was building it, I had several aircraft crash into it. And we're not going to complete a complete circuit. Okay, we're going to give this one more try, and then we're going to go back and we're going to uh, go to a different one. I think this time we're going to go in reverse, though. So originally I built that ramp thinking I could get up that way. Uh, turns out I can't. So, And of course, I, I don't know why. It just won't spawn me up at the top, which pisses me off. I don't usually fiddle around with the scene creator in GTA V for director mode. I usually use it just to create carnage and havoc. As you can see, the T-20s just beat the crap up. It's it's destroyed, pretty much. But I've taken all of my vehicles I have stored in story mode and director mode and just run on these courses before. I had a T-20 all along, and I guess I completely forgot about it, and I uh, never used it for racing. I never used it for director mode. I always used like the entity or I used one of my big bulky vehicles. As you can see, this is uh I designed this. I couldn't get it to autocomplete, so like this is a built-in. This is one of the ramps. This is just a ramp put together to connect the two together. So you're not supposed to go in reverse on this. Hold on one second, guys. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. I had some people tweeting me. So this is the top of the largest point on this. And just to give you like a demonstration of what all we can see from up here. Uh, that's the wind turbine plant right there. I mean look at this. You can, you can see pretty dang far with this. And I might build one of these on stream one day and race it where it's just all the way up high, but it's pretty rare for me to do that. Back to the track. Sorry about that, guys. I usually have my phone turned to vibrate, but I've been discussing things with some people on Twitter, and... Oh, shit. Booyah! love how this engine sounds. This is just the sexiest car I've ever had in this game. I had to blow up my Osiris because I, bl I blew up my Osiris thinking I didn't have a T20. So I got this. I, I took my Osiris out of the garage and blew it up and uh, to make room for this. Bought this, customized it, Went into direct mode to spawn it in and noticed I had like two T20s back to back. And I'm like, what the hell? 
So as you can see, you're not going back down that ramp, so there's like no pit crew here. So if your vehicles look mine, yeah, you're not gonna have a fun time. Um, okay. Thanks. Let's go to scene creator. I think it's scene three. Yeah, yeah, it's three. Hopefully, I can make this go for our full 20-minute video that we usually do. So, what I'm going to do is, this is going to spawn in my uh, scene that I've created. And what we're going to do here is, I'm going to go and spawn myself into Los Santos International. I'm going to set up, um, let's put this to midday. Excuse me. Sorry, I just got done eating dinner. <laughs> okay, um... Delete waypoint, go to location. And we're gonna take off in a helicopter, and I'm gonna show you this. Because this, this took me a long time to actually do. My original one was just... It was so massive, I couldn't get the whole thing on camera. I couldn't get the whole, all the props. Because if you know, seeing creator makes you have only 50 props. And at this point, this is so massive, it's just... I think you guys probably just heard that. Uh, show you here. Turn this up. Um, Frogger, Buzzard. Let's do Swift Deluxe. I usually fly those pretty well. Set so, at... Uh, and he says this as he crashes it underneath an overpass. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna... We'll, we'll show you it the hard way. Hey. You know That's it. I'm just gonna shoot you. That's what I thought. You act all tough until I pull a gun out. And then you run away like a little coward. So can you get you guys can see that right there? That's uh, part of this. I had to build a way to get up to it because for some reason I couldn't figure out how to get Scene Creator let me up into it. So your way to get to your bit crew is right there, and as you can see, I've got a boost because I was playing around with this on the adder and taking some of my slower moving vehicles. Like I have a police bike and a police cruiser, stuff like that, and they were having sluggish trouble to get up here. This is truly a supercar's track. Added a new thing here. This is brand new. I just now put this on that. I originally had the original one of these where it matched the rest of the track. But then I found this and I decided, hey, what the hell? So we're going to take the adder onto this one. So I'm going to show you, this ends right before the, uh, that runway down there. Let me show you real quick with the big old Barrett. Oh my guy's got a pink helmet on for some reason. Uh, as you can see, it ends right before you get there. Originally, it ended all the way out there at that pylon. That one right there. I did just put around in the third pylon, which is pretty massive. And as you know, I couldn't get it back to center because it was over 30 miles. It was over 50 props. Oh, here. Let's see if I can catch up. Nope, it already did it. I'm going to show it to you anyways. So I've got some boost here because I usually slow down around the curbs. Boost will allow me to pick up my speed again. Um... You can see it right there. It's so massive, and I guess the AI doesn't realize it's here. It uh, The AI flies right into it. It just, like, blows it up. And it it's pretty funny to watch. I've caught it a couple times, but I'm going to show you this here. This is exactly 50 props. I put all those back there. I think I got one up ahead. Going down this ramp. And I'm going to show you what happens uh, when you go to take your pit. Your pit stop. That's if I don't fall off. Ah, oh, barely. That was a close one. <laughs> you, that's actually the closest I've come to falling off that. 
So, uh, as you can see, this is very steep. Watch what happens. Even if I go, I, I like literally have to break before coming off of this. Completely dead stop. Or else I fly off. So, our next one, because we've already done that one, we can believe that without much issue. Because I've raced around that like 30, 40 times. I was really proud of that. That, that was my baby. We're going to spawn in number two. And we're going to break the land. We're going to break the 120 on our uh, T20. I built a mega ramp. It's not going to launch me that far. As unfortunate as it is. I wish it would, but it just doesn't. But we're going to show you. First person. That is exactly 50 props, most of which are speed boosts. Where are get lined up here? I don't know if you guys can see that. Ah, oh, crap. I fell off the ramp. Take the same time I've done that. There we go. As you can see, boosts all the way up pretty much. And we're going. 120, 140, 140, 140, 130, 140, 140, 140, 130 miles an hour. And I'm going to touch down here. As you can see. So we break 140. Now just to kind of show you uh, show you what happens when we get on this with uh, never actually done it with my big ramming truck. We're going to do our Daytona 500. That is just a mega ramp. Uh, our Daytona 500 was the one I showed before that. It is scene number three. And I've done it in my Sand King XL. And it didn't go well. It just doesn't have the ability to turn. It doesn't have the handling needed to handle this. Kind of hilarious that I say it that way. Uh... But this is a six-wheeled, military, heavily armored pickup truck. Maxed out engine, maxed out everything. I made it red and black because at the time I really liked the colors red and black. I gotta get it repainted later. I don't even think it's gonna be able to make it up this mountain. Up this mountain of a ramp. Let's test. Let's see if we can get it up this hill. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Now, uh, if you've never seen any rampages uh, with me in this truck, I primarily use this thing just to ram through anything that gets in my way. It is not built to be to outspeed. It is not built to turn on a dime. It is built just to plow through everything. In fact, I don't think I've ever got this thing past 100 mile an hour. Uh, yep. It's gonna sit pretty at 100 mile an hour with all the armoring. But it got about 120. Next, we're going to launch it off the mega ramp. Well, you know, it bounces. Whee! So this is why Dad won't let me drive his pickup truck. I now understand. 
So, mega ramp time. But yeah, I built this in an airport, and I think the biggest issue of making this a reality is uh, definitely the aircraft. Whoops. Got to wrap this up. I got seven more minutes. Then I got an important uh, meeting to attend. So as you can see, there are 50 props placed here. That is the maximum you can have in any scene you create. Which is a damn crying shame, but it is pretty much how the game functions. But we're going to launch this big hulking beast off the mega ramp off our mega ramp. Custom made, no mods, no shenanigans. Now, I wish Take-Two would uh, release mods for GTA console mode. For the console. Uh, do official mod, re mod support. Like Bethesda does. That would be amazing. Okay, so as you can see, we are sitting pretty at zero miles an hour. And our first boost hits us to... Damn, 140 miles an hour. Whoa! Believe it or not. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Can the Mega Ramp be used to help everyday citizens? The answer is yes. I'm about to show you how. Now, this may not go for everyday citizens, but I know that some of you, well, depends on what you do for a living. Some of you may realize, you know, I'm a bike cop. I need to hurry up and get there, but the traffic is just so massive. I mean, I'm on a motorcycle. If they hit me, I'm going to go flying. Well, we're going to get that guy. And we're going to do it epically. getting close to about we hit 60 miles an hour before hitting the mega ramp now since we're likely going to be going over 100 miles an hour we are going to have to go full code ready And I'd say we probably hit close to 120 miles an hour on that one. But we're going to give it a test. We're currently hitting about 70 miles an hour. Not bad for an unmodified little police bike. I'd say it's probably a Harley. Let's make sure we get a nice running start here. Next, we're going to test out if the undercover cops can, can I use this wonderful little piece of technology here.
and we hit 110 mile an hour off the gate. Do not land like that. Okay, now we're going to see if the undercover boys get to play with this toy. Because I just so happened to call up the LSPD, and they said they were willing to let me beta test their brand new vapid... You know what, fuck it. They're letting me test drive their brand new, unmarked, Crown Vic. And you know what we're going to do with it, boys? We're going to throw it off a mega ramp. Now, if any of you guys have ever drove this, uh, you know it doesn't have a very decent top speed. Also, its uh, speedometer is completely obstructed. I'd say we're probably going close to 60 mile an hour. Just judging by where the needle is. Maybe 70, I'm not quite sure. Our goal is to get as close to that little chick to the left, to the right. That's 160 miles an hour. Whatever you do, don't tell LSPD's chief of police about this. You might not like it too much. Wait for the light. And go. Honor 140. Sorry about that, guys. That was my alarm. And as you can see, uh, the whole front end is mangled. Just mangled. But you caught the perp, and that's all that matters. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the content, and if you want to continue to see me push director mode to its very limit, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment what you want me to do next. See you guys next time.